how I use pivots and spins to glue acrobatic elements together to create smooth, flowy acrobatic flows and how you could do it. So let's directly start. At first I want to show you this little sequence I created, a sequence made of only pivots, different techniques from up to down, down to up, creating spirals in the body. And the next slide was my try then to stitch acrobatic elements in between to create a flow. So before we talk about pivoting, let's briefly talk about momentum. Momentum refers to the energy that is being generated by a moving body or object. When you're standing still, there is no momentum. When you start to move, there is a build of momentum. Now when you want to continuously and smoothly transition between elements, when the body is moving fast like in my acrobatic practice, you want to learn how to recycle and redirect momentum in such a way that you do not lose any of it but can keep it up within the next moves. This idea of recycling momentum is being used in many different disciplines, for example in gymnastics tumbling. Whereas in gymnastics, where momentum is usually being directed in a straight line, I like to curve and introduce circles and therefore pivots come in handy. From above the circular redirection is clearly visible as you can see in this video from one of my students, Satya. As you can see in this clip from Bologna, I constantly keep my body moving in between elements by pivoting around my own axis. Now, as said before, this not only allows me to recycle the momentum, but then also to redirect my movements. So instead of traveling in a straight line, I can curve and I can twist around myself, create circles and figures of eight. Needless to say, there is no better or worse. The fact that I am moving in a more circular way and redirecting in a more curved way is simply personal preference over the aesthetics and also allows me to practice in smaller spaces. Because we are using pivots to transition, we need to make sure that we can actually do them. Starting with pivoting can be quite frustrating because it's quite hard on the coordination side of things. Now in this video, I demonstrate very simple pivots, both legs, both sides, forwards and backwards. I propose that you simply try to experiment turning around your own body. It does not need to be a full turn, can be a half turn. You don't need to focus on your spotting with the eyes. You can simply keep a peripheral vision and simply enjoy yourself. I personally really like to practice pivots, but of course you can also only stick to the basic ones for the purpose of nice, smooth transitions and sequences. If you want to get better at the skill of actively choosing where you and how you want to redirect your movements and create a stronger sense of connectivity inside of your body, I propose to practice what I call movement calligraphy and the slinky. Both of these videos are linked in the description of this video. Now the second part for our study are obviously the acrobatics. So here I'm showing a very basic acrobatic movement that is also very beginner friendly. Now you start standing, you lunge forwards, you reach towards the floor, push into the floor and switch your legs. You do not need to swing super high, you can also just do a small hop and this is to be practiced until you can do this smoothly. We stay with this very same pattern but now try to apply the idea of pivoting by focusing on the entrance. As you can see here, I am pivoting and reaching around myself but then doing exactly the same element. Reaching around, pivoting, going into the element. At this point, and depending on your skill level, you can also try to do full pivots and go into the element or stick with just quarter pivots. Now let's use the idea of pivoting 
but this time out of an acrobatic move. So as you can see here, I start with my hands on the floor. This gives me access so I can push into the floor while reaching with my leg. Now in the next step, I try to jump, push with my hands and reach with my legs either forwards or backwards. And when we finish that, you can directly try to apply the idea for a full acrobatic move. So pivoting into the acrobatic move and then out of the acrobatic move as I'm showing here. How much you want to turn before and after an acrobatic move is absolutely up to you. And this is a skill to practice. Also, the acrobatic moves you can vary depending on your skill level. Card wheels, one arm card wheels, you can take it to the floor through rolling, floor work elements or into the aerial layer. Now that you have all the tools, observe these clips of mine and try to see how I'm using this idea here. Now, and please do not forget if you want to dive deeper into this type of work, if you want to work and study with me, I have plenty of online studying options from my Finding Flow online programs to individual online supports, worldwide workshops and private trainings. up to you to practice and I offer Finding Flow online programs, four of them, two for beginners, two more advanced, where I show even more transitions like these and go much more into depth. Enjoy practice!